brothers and sisters, one way Allah has selected to give us knowledge is to tell us things in parables. For example, he says about a goodly tree. All good persons are like goodly trees. Today I want to bring another parable to our attention. Now this one is a bit technical. So we have to try and understand. This is in Surah Noor. And he says, Masalu Nurihi Kamishkat, the parable of his light is like a, as if the parable of his light is as if there were a niche and within it a lamp. So there is a hole in the wall and there is a lamp. The lamp is in a glass. The glass as it were a brilliant star. Now the glass, not the lamp, you know. The lamp has its light, of, the light of its own. But the glass is reflecting like a brilliant star. Lit from a blessed tree, an olive. Neither of the east nor the west. You see that? That is a parable. What is Allah talking about here? Masalu Nurihi. His light, the parable of his light. Now you know that the light of the soul is not found in any, it cannot be compared with anything in the universe. The light of the soul is a special creation from Allah, a special creation. All right. So that when Allah is talking about his light, only Allah knows what he's talking about. But what we can understand, it possibly means the light with which he created the soul. That light is put in a niche, a hole somewhere. And over that, there is a glass. Now the glass is bright, the light is bright, and the, and the lamp is like a lamp. And the lamp that is supplying the oil, that is bright. Brothers and sisters, what I understand, I might be wrong, eh? I might be wrong here. Because this is very technical. I believe what Allah is talking about is the human heart. The human heart. The soul is inside the heart. The soul is inside the heart. And around the soul is naturally the flesh, the heart. Right? That is like the glass. And around that is the membrane. You know the heart has, uh, or around the heart is a, is a membrane. Now, I was talking to some heart specialists, and they say that the heart has like two waves of electricity that is keeping this there all the time. Imagine like electricity, the energy is there that is keeping the heart working. Now, my understanding is Allah has that light, that beautiful light encased in that organ and that organ can become bright 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 and shining like the like the lamp the shade it can be bright and shining kamishkat in fi his fi misbah al misbah fi zujaja uh, uh, and, and so it goes explaining that. 
So what we need to understand is, Allah is telling us, listen to me, I have given you something which you cannot find anywhere in the universe, something special. And that is in case in a special organ. And that organ, if it is properly cultured and cultivated, can be bright, bright, bright and shining. It can be bright and shining. What can happen is, the soul cannot be contaminated. The soul cannot be interfered with. The soul is pure and clean and will remain pure. Nothing can interfere with the soul. What can happen is that shade around the soul, that lampshade, we can either keep it clean, 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 so that it will remain bright, bright and shining. Why did Allah make Jibrail wash the Prophet's heart? He never had sin. He never had sin, as the Quran says. All his sins were forgiven. Even then, when he was going to specially meet the Lord, that was washed so that, so that nothing could inter to cause any kind of little bit of, I mean, what to say, diminishing the brightness of that shade. It remained bright and shining and pure and clean. Allah has created a system whereby the physical body, remember the soul is not physical. It came from the command of Allah. It is called from the Amr, from the command. The soul and the body came into existence in two special, special ways. The soul, Allah said, be, and the soul came into existence. The body was created, it came from the Kalk. So the soul came from the Amr, a command, and the body, Allah created the body from the earth. Put the two together, and they work, if they can work together, you can ascend to the highs. If you keep your, your, your shade, Polish, bright, and shining, and clean. You will be able to experience God. There is no doubt about that. But on the other hand, so the nafs is the working of the physical self. The nafs produces an energy. Like you start a car, and there is energy. It, the, the petrol is ignited. And it creates an energy which will cause the piston to move up and down and cause the car to move. The nafs is the energy created by the body. Because it is energy, and because the ruh or the soul is energy, the nafs can impact upon the soul. It can, and, and how it will impact upon the soul? It can either dirty the shade or keep it bright and shining. The shade. The nafs works on the shade. The shade of the soul is the human heart. The shade of the soul is the human heart. So that, look, when Prophet was going Miraj, peace be upon him, his heart was washed. If there was any little spot of darkness in it, it was washed clean. If you have to meet your Lord, the best experience you will have is if you have a bright and shining, clean heart. Because the vibration of your Lord, you will experience it. You see what Hazrat Aisha, when, when the Quran says, La Tudrikul Absar, no vision, no sight can encompass God. You know, can you look at an atom? 
You cannot look at an atom with your naked eyes. If you will look at an atom and you can see it, it will burst up your eyes and everything, in, just like that. It is not possible. That is why they will look at, you can look at the uh, uh, <coughs> movement in a microscope or in a whatever system they have for, to be able to, to, to view it. But you cannot let it be exposed to your naked eyes. So too, the light of Allah, you cannot experience it just like this with you. So when the Quran says, La turrikul absar, no vision, no sight can grasp him. Prophet, peace be upon him, could even see the, the um, um, Jibrail in his true form when Jibrail came to bring the first revelation. All how he, told, he was seeing light all, all, all sides in the sky. The size of Jibrail and everything, he could not have experienced it. It is only when he went out of this space and time that he was able to view those things. So too, you will be able to experience something of the Lord if you keep your soul, the, sh the shade of your soul, bright and shining and clean. That is the purpose of Zikir, you know. That is, that is the purpose of doing good and staying away from evil. If anyone indulges in what is prohibited, the energy that will be produced in the nafs, it will cause like spots, smoke on that shade. It will cause smoke on the shade. As Allah says in the Quran, Kalla bal rana ala kuluvihim. Nay, but they have put stains on their heart, on that physical heart. Kalla bal rana ala kuluvihim. You put stains, like I have a clean clothes, and I put black spots on it, black spots on it. Anywhere the stain will be, the, it will prevent the light from penetrating the glass. It will not go in your body. Anywhere the stain is. That is, Allah, as Allah says, Alladheena amanu wallam yalbasu imanahum bizul. Those who believe, and they do not clothe their belief with wrongdoing. When you do wrong, it's like you're putting a screen over the shade. And what is going to happen? That's all, you know. Listen, you don't have for people to say whether this one did, I mean, wrong, uh, the, like you have nowadays. She imported the car on the, on the hand method or this. You don't have to judge anybody. It is your heart and your Lord. It is you and your Lord. Is my light bright and shining? Or is it clothing with darkness, with wrongdoing? And that is the mission of life, you know. You know, where is it? this? I remember I used to sing a hymn in school. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. <laughs> you know that? I want my light to shine. And how can I do that? People will not help you. Some people could help you. Some people could help you. If you are in their association, if you are with the good, as the Quran says, I think I gave a lecture on that once already. If you are with the good people, it will benefit you. That will give you the, the impetus, the zeal to keep your light bright and shining. And on the other hand, if you're with the others, come now boy, let me go down there and take a drink. Come now, boy, let's go. What they will encourage you to do? To clothe your iman with zulm. And that will not help you. So the mission in life is really to keep your light bright and shining. Satan will not want you to do that. Because his light is out, as far as we are concerned. So he would want to out your light too. So he will decorate the evil and get you to, 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 to get away from, from, from going on the straight path. Allah will test you also to see whether you want to keep your light bright and shining and polish. And he will give you all kinds of tests. Some people, some people, you know I was jokingly making a joke with a fellow one day. I said to him, boy, you have to go to heaven. Why? 
because you're catching enough hell here in this life. You understand? Trials. Allah is going to try you. Might be with your, with your, with your family, your wife, your children, or your husband. Might be with your neighbors. Might be with your transport. Might be with, your, with, with, with other things. He says he will try you with loss of wealth, with loss of property, with loss of life. With, he says he will try you. Allah says he will try you. Why? He wants to see under all these conditions whether you'll keep your lampshade bright and shining or not. Whether you'll keep it clean. And that is the mission of life, my dear friends. And that is what Allah is giving us here. A parable. A parable of a lamp with a beautiful light and a clean, bright shade. And the oil that is causing the lamp to light, that oil is bright. What kind of brightness? That you, you could never find anywhere in the world. It is out of this world. It is special. So we need to make, this is your real jihad. And that is what Prophet, peace be upon him, says. The big jihad is jihad against your own nafs, your passion and your desire. Your passion and your desire wouldn't want you, would don't care about moral principles and about, about, about uh, submitting to Allah and humility and thing, you know. Your passion and your desire want comfort, luxury, pleasure, all these things. And it will encourage you to indulge. And if, God forbid, you indulge, your lampshade will get a little spot. It will not stay bright and shining and clean. Let us make every effort to keep our lampshade bright and clean. Shade clean. That's all. That is the mission of life, you know. Keep your shade bright and clean. So that beautiful light from inside, when it is going to reflect, it will be such so attractive that it will give you the capacity to see right through the road, no darkness. Allah say about those people on that day, man, they will be like in darkness. And every time, in the beginning of Surah Bakra, and every time the lightning will flash and they see a little bit, they want to run. And then it come dark again, they don't know what to do. But those who have their lights bright and shining, Man, he could have 50 million darkness on the outside. I have my light. I see with my light. And that is important. That is why perhaps Allah says, there are some people, they have eyes and they cannot see. They have ears and they can't hear. What happened? Why? Because the shade dirty on all those sides. The shade is dirty. Make the effort to keep your shade clean. The Islamic year is coming to an end and a new year is going to start. Sit down and reflect. Reflect on your past and beg your Lord, Oh my Allah, look I committed sin here and there and there. Kindly forgive me. I repent. And whatever good you, you are able to do, thank your Lord. Oh Lord, I thank you most sincerely. And help me to do more. And help me to keep my lampshade bright and shining and clean. So that when I will return to you, I will experience something of your vision, inshallah.